Countdown. Tahniah. Siaran langsung ini dibawakan khas kepada anda oleh Akademi YouTuber Malaysia. Sebuah inisiatif EDD Malaysia dan Kelab Guru Malaysia. Tumbukan perhatian anda. Siaran langsung akan bermula sebentar lagi. Link sijil akan diberikan di hujung siaran ini. Pastikan diisi dalam tempo yang ditetapkan. Terima kasih. Uh, Hello, teachers. Cikgu uh, Manjit, I don't think we are live uh, because the thing there from uh, the link for portal is not there. Which portal? Uh, the the one in the IU. We are not in the IU there. You check comments, my comment. There are two comments. No, Nabila no, Shahe are... say hi. Siti say hi. There are comments there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now God, Nabila Shaha say hi. Siti say hi. But but in the hi everybody. But here in the the link there, there's none. I have here. I have uh, one is. Siti is here. Mm. Okay, then we can start. Okay, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Hello everyone. Hi. Hi. Hello hi. teachers. Parents Hi. and wonderful students, welcome to Pusat Tuition Academy YouTuber. Bermula niya percuma, selama niya percuma. How are you doing today, students? I hope all of you are ready for today's lesson. Are you ready? Before we proceed, let's begin our session by praying in our respective ways. The Muslims, you can recite the Umul Kitab Al-Fatiha. Okay, thank you. Let me introduce myself to those who don't know me. Well, I'm Madam Manjit Kaur from SMK Methodist ACSC4, the moderator of the day. We at Pusat Tuition Academy YouTuber will still provide you with free online classes. So, so please, please take this chance to do your revision if you want to do. But before that, <coughs> we need to write some short notes, and listen attentively. Let me introduce our teacher for today's lesson. <coughs> Sorry. We have Madam Gan Bin Hoon from SMK King George V. Welcome, Madam Gan. Negeri Sembilan. And we are now live on Educator OmniTube channel. Please support her channel, Educator OmniTube, by clicking the subscribe button now. Please subscribe her button now, please. Subscribe only once. Good. The topic of today's lesson is based on PT3 format for writing paper 2. Craft stroke 2. The focus is on the types of formats that are taught for writing in form 1, form 2, and even in form 3. All right? Be sure to follow the class up until the end. All right? And together with us, we have Madam Noor Aisha Harun from SMK Meranti Pasir Mas Kelantan. Welcome, Madam Noor Aisha Harun. And she's the control host for today. And also to help us to ensure the smoothness of our lesson. So, before we begin, I have a few reminders to all of you. Are you ready? First, please pay attention to our lesson, stop chatting, and use the chat session wisely. Number two, regarding the certificate link, the link will be given at the end of our session. Please do use EDD account when you fill in your particulars, and do make sure to listen to the passcode given by the presenter or me by the end of the lesson. And do not forget to fill in the form within the time limit, which is 30 seconds. Are you clear, everyone? Good. So, without further ado, let's welcome Madam Gan Bin Hun. Okay, Madam Gan. Hi. Hi, students. 
Now I would like to share my screen. So can you see my screen now? No, at the moment we cannot see. It's not there yet? No, nothing at the moment. Uh, let me check again. Yes, please do. Uh, yes, now we can see your screen. Ah, okay, Ready? okay. Yes. Okay. So, uh, welcome uh, to the pupils who are present today. So, this is the English language lesson and it is for the lower secondary from 1 to from 3. So, before I begin, I would like to mention what uh, Puan Manjit mentioned just now about the free online classes. So, these uh, classes are the initiative of Club Guru Malaysia, EDD Malaysia and also Academy YouTuber. So, here we have uh, there are several English teachers under the IU collaboration. We have today with us Cikgu Manjik, Cikgu Aisha, and we have others like Cikgu Giri, Cikgu Amal Difiza, Cikgu Emily and Cikgu Farida, and also Cikgu Heidi. So we have, as teachers in the academy, we have made many videos and they are playlists. So the playlist for the lower secondary is called Lower Secondary School English Lessons from 1, from 2 and from 3, brought to you by Academy YouTuber Malaysia. So this is the QR code and this is the link. So you can scan here and you can see many videos for from 1, from 2 and from 3. And also for from 4, from 5, the upper secondary, it is called IU Upper Secondary English Language. So this is the playlist. And then you can scan the QR code uh, maybe for your uh, elder brothers or sisters. Okay. So without any delay, let's start. Today we're going to continue part two of the writing uh, uh, to sum up what we did last week, right? So for the uh, for writing, we have email, messages, postcard, informal letter, story, review, article, and report. So these are some of the formats that are in the exam. Okay, last week, I shared part one. Part one, it is called short communicative message. And remember part one, we have three types, message, email, and postcard. So this week, we are looking at part two. Part two is called note expansion. Okay. So there are several types here. Let's look at the question first. So this is from the instrument, Chonto, given by uh, Ministry of Education. So this is part two. 20 minutes, you should spend about 35 minutes in this part. In your class, you have been talking about celebrations in about 120 words. So 120 words, write an essay about a celebration you enjoy. You may use the notes below to help you. So here, there is the focus uh, topic here, a celebration you enjoy. So around it, you can see all the bubbles. You have the WH, for example, why you celebrate it, how you feel, who you celebrate with, what you do, where you celebrate it, and where you celebrate it. And then the instruction is, write your essay. So here, if you can see, it is written essay. So you do not know the format, right? So for note expansion, there are five formats. You are asked whether to write a story, a letter, article, review, or a report. Okay, so if you look at this question, so the most suitable one would be either you can write a story or you can write an article. So let's look at this other, uh, how to confirm about your writing uh, types. So look at form one, you have textbook form one, pass two, form two also, pass two. So there are nine units. Unit one will be, uh, unit one to five will be for form one and six to nine will be form two. So you have several writings here, right? Personal profile. It is an article, then you have review, you have story, you have description of place, so this is article, you have giving opinion, also article, you have informal letter, you have blog post, this is a mixture of maybe article and story, you have email and instant message. Okay, for form 3, this is the close-up textbook, so you have 12 units. So here you can see, again you have email, you have review, email, Story, informal letter, story, postcard, 
letter, report, and story. So let's move on. Now we are looking at the first one, which is informal letter. So when writing informal letter, use informal language. Make it clear why you're writing and then make sure you focus on the subject you're writing about. The subject will be the question or the task. Okay, let's look at the format. Format is important, okay? An informal letter is a personal letter usually written to a friend, a relative or an acquaintance. So note the layout below. So the layout will be name of sender, Anand, for example, Anand Dahlan. And then you have the address, Lot 201 Jalan Tapang, 93250 Kuching, Sarawak. And then you have the date, 18 June, for example, 2021. So then you have the greeting. Remember, English greeting, you need to have dear. So for example here, dear Khadija. And then you have paragraph one, which is the introduction. And paragraph two, three will be the contents. And paragraph four will be the closing. And then don't forget to sign off. For example, here it's very simple. You can write just love. And then the name, Anna. Okay, last week I mentioned about block paragraph and indent paragraph. So this is a good example of indent paragraphs. Okay, indent paragraph means start the first line of each paragraph under the comma. For example, you have comma here. But you can always go uh, nearer. Maybe after dear, you can start here, okay? So this is called indent paragraph. For example, you write dear Khadija. So here you have spacing. You can see spacing here, right? Spacing here. You have spacing here. Then you have spacing here. So this is called indent paragraph. Okay? So I think uh, you are clear about indent paragraph and block paragraph. Because block, there is no spacing for each paragraph. Okay? So let's look at the first part, greeting. Greeting for informal letter, you can say dear, dearest, hi or hello. And then for uh, introduction, you can write, maybe you can ask the person you're writing to, uh, how are you? Uh, and then you can explain why you're writing. Example, how are you? Guess what? How are things? How is it going? It's good to hear from you. Thanks for your letter. What exciting or set of great news okay i'm really pleased or proud of you it will be fun or great so there are many comments that you can write make it simple and short you can ask about uh maybe your friend's condition how are you and, and you can explain why you're writing for example uh, i received your letter yesterday so i uh i'm very happy that you shared with me the great news so write a simple maybe one or two sentences then we have paragraph 2 and 3. And then remember, you're writing only, only about 120 words. So paragraph 2 and 3 are contents. You're supposed to answer the WH questions in the bubble map, right? Okay, so you can give details regarding what you're writing. So here will be to answer the WH questions. Okay, for example, you can write there is, there are. If you're interested, let me know. When are you available? Let's go together. So all these uh, examples of phrases, it depends on what you're writing, your ideas, okay? And then paragraph four will be the conclusion. You can ask the person you're writing to further, uh, further questions and maybe you can suggest something or you can express. A simple one is to express hope or wish. Could you do me a favor or maybe perhaps you could do something for me, okay? Do we need to? I was wondering if, okay, for example, you can write, I was wondering if, yeah, uh, I was wondering if you're free this weekend or I was wondering maybe you're free during the school holidays. Maybe we can meet each other, okay. So just a simple conclusion. Remember, you can ask questions for your conclusion or you can make suggestions or you can express, express your hope or wish. Okay, then sign off. Sign off, you can write. See you soon. Keep in touch. That's all for now. Write back soon. Talk to you later. Keep in touch or just simple, uh, simple love. Or you can write, write back soon and tell me about it. Bye. Bye is also a simple one. Or you can write bye for now. See you soon. Speak to you later. That's all for now. Write soon. Okay. So these are a few suggestions of sentences you can write for signing off. 
Okay, this is example from your textbook. So this is address and then date. So here you can see that in the textbook, there is no name here, right? So the question is, you can ask, uh, you will be asking whether teacher, should I write a name here? So uh, the compulsory one will be the address and the date. Sometimes some students will put the name here before the address, okay? Then, but remember to greet. You need to have dear for English. So here, dra grandma and granddad. Thank you very much for my birthday present. I love my new trainers. So this is to thank, okay? You can introduce, uh, start the introduction by writing this. I'm wearing them now. They fit me perfectly. So these are uh, short sentences for introduction. The content, it depends on what you're asked to write, okay? So I'm not going to read here because this is more about uh, birthday, okay? So it's a birthday party tomorrow. So the content, it depends on the question that you're going to get. So this student wrote mm, one... Okay, uh, uh -uh. Uh, one minute, Madam Gan. There's uh, okay. a student here, Daniel Ya. Uh -huh. He says that the teacher is it. Uh, uh, can I use I am wondering instead of I was wondering in letter? Uh, I am wondering because you're, yes. you're wondering at the moment you're writing. So the, uh, you should write I'm wondering. Okay. Yep, we have already explained here. <laughs> I'm wondering uh, instead of I uh, was wondering. Okay. okay. Yeah, thank you. Continue, please. Okay. So this student, uh, the, the example here, uh, it is only one paragraph of content. You can do that. Okay, because, there's one uh, more student here uh, from Janice Chu. Uh, Hi, teacher. May I ask hi. that we don't need to write formal letter anymore? Because I bought a reference book from 2019 and one of the mm. format is a formal letter. Can you explain? Yes, that is the old format. Because the new format, there is no formal letter. Because uh, just I show you the units in the textbook, right? The questions are normally from the units in the textbook. But it is uh, advisable students uh -huh. to know a bit of uh, a new, yes. uh, new the formal letter, how to write a formal uh -huh. letter. Formal letter yeah. is mostly okay. for upper secondary. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. okay. Uh, okay thank thank you. you. Okay. So for here, uh, since it is quite short, 120, so you can write in one paragraph for your content. So let's look at the conclusion. I'll see you next month. Thanks again for the present. And then you sign off. Love from Paul. So there is another question whether to write love from Paul on the left or on the right. You can write whether left or right, okay? They are not going to punish you for the, maybe deduct your marks and so on. Yeah, no, they won't penalize you, okay? Students, yeah, they, they won't, won't penalize. penalize. Okay, this is also from your textbook. So, greet again. Hi, Robbie. So, it can be hi, it can be dear, it can be dearest. It's good to hear from you. Okay, what exciting news. I've always wanted to live in the countryside. You'll be able to cycle around without any traffic and camp and, can, and camp out at night. It will be great. So this student is uh, writing about, okay, I am so happy to hear from you. Then uh, this person is sharing uh, is sharing uh, his uh, feeling about the friend living in the countryside. Okay. So later on, so this is the introduction. You can write a short one or you can write a long one. So here, you can see here, this student is using, if you can see here, right? It's, you can see what, you can see don't, you can see I, I would, I love, okay? So this is called block paragraphing. It is not in then, okay? You can do this also. Where you start at the same line, a line with high. So if you want to do in then, you can start at high, Robbie. So below the comma here, you can start here. All the paragraph. In school, this student wrote content one, two, two paragraph normally, okay? Then you have the conclusion. Conclusion, you can even ask a question as a simple question. Uh, for example, here, you can put this as a conclusion or separate this. Have you decided on the date yet? Or you can say, I will bring different type of music so everyone can have a good time. Have you decided on the date yet? So this is the question. Uh, you can write this in the conclusion. And then sign off. Bye for now, Kirk. Okay. Okay, that's the end of the informal letter. Any question so far?
So far, so good. I think it's clear. Students, can you understand? Any questions, please? Any questions, please? Okay, if there's no question, okay. I'll proceed with story. So for story, remember that when you write a story, you have to spend a few minutes thinking of how you want your story to develop and make notes because they are WH questions, right? So you have to plan properly. Remember, you have to have the scene. You have to have uh, the tenses correct. Normally, story will be in past tense. Okay, you must have your events, the how, who, when, okay? And then use linking words to make uh, there is a flow for your sentences. And then make sure that you give your story an interesting ending. Okay, remember to talk about how the people felt in the story, okay? So there must be people, the characters. We have people here, and then we have events in the story. And then do share in the story about uh, also the feelings of the character. Okay, so you have action, you have characters, you have feelings. Okay, for paragraph one, set the scene and introduce the main characters. So you have characters. So you have to make uh, introduction. You can make it interesting or you can make it dramatic. Okay. For example, it was a cold, dark evening. John was very scared. Okay. Remember, use the sentence or given. If they give you a sentence, use that sentence. Or if you they give you the WH question, use the WH questions. Okay. Then paragraph two, you can write the background. For example, the setting. And then maybe you can mention the background of the characters and what is going on in the story. Example, Maddie and Sally met at the dance class a year ago. So you see, met here will be past tense. So normally, story you will write in past tense. Okay, paragraph three, you can continue. You can write the events in order. Remember to use your linking words, the connectors, the sequence connectors, the linking words, okay? For example, at first, then the moment that, meanwhile, then there are many others like in addition, uh, after that, okay, there are many more. And then paragraph four, uh, if you want to continue, uh, you can even write a twist in the story. For example, that was when, soon after that, suddenly, just then, as soon as, then you can create suspense, for example, at that point, during the minutes, during the hours, during the days that followed, all of a sudden, as quick as lightning, as fast as he could. He had uh, never been in such an extreme situation without thinking. There was no sign of. He thought of a plan to make things worse. They were just about to give up when, so all these are... Uh, Phrases or expressions create suspense. And then you can have either paragraph, for example, if you want to end, you can end at paragraph four or you can end at paragraph five. So bring the story to an end. So you can use uh, words or phrases like, eventually, we never went to the castle again or we never went to the haunted house again. Or you can write, new, it would never happen again. So you have to end the story and then this is an example. So this is from your textbook. So you can write a title for a story. If you do not write a title, it is it is still acceptable, okay? So for example, here you have the title Lost. Then write the introduction. So these are uh, the example in the textbook also use block paragraph. So for example, here one day my friends Rosie and I decided to go for a walk in the mountains. Okay, so you can see all the tenses here, decided, was shining, okay, set off, change. Okay, so these are past tense. Okay, then you use, uh, you write the content. So here we can't discuss the content because it depends on the question that you're going to get in the exam. But you can see all the linkers here, for example, and linking words, okay? Then you have, for example, suddenly, then you have next time, okay? So remember, you can write the title, then you have introduction. Maybe you can make it a suspense, then you start to introduce a character. And then you have contents, then you have your conclusion. Okay. And then 
that's the end <laughs> because I have only one example from the textbook. The title is Loss. Okay, any question about story? Story is quite easy. You can either write the title or there is no title. You can start with normal paragraphing. Uh, maybe we can share some information here, Madam Gan, uh -huh. that uh, story writing is very, very important because when you go in Form 4 and Form 5, you still need to write a story. Yes, yes. There is okay, a so I think it's better for you to listen and uh, get the idea how to write a story. Uh, because uh, in Form 4, Form 5, Part 3 will be a uh, story or other options. There are extended writing. There will be maybe three options there for Form 4, Form 5. So next one, we'll go to review. Review is a quite a famous question. <clears throat> so when you write review, you can write review about uh, a book you read, a restaurant that you went to, or maybe a movie that you watch. So when writing a review, think of a super, suitable title. Okay, review, you need a title. Try to catch the reader's attention in the first paragraph. And then remember to give your negative your positive or negative opinion, okay? So, review one, plan, introduce what you are reviewing, okay? Try, uh, okay, why not try? If you like adventure movies, uh, you should watch, okay? Or you can write, uh, it's, watch a, it's worth a try. So, these are a few ways of starting the first paragraph. Okay, then paragraph two, you can write, describe what you're reviewing. Give the reader an idea of what you're writing about. Okay, for example, you can write, the movie is set in the year 1996, for example. Okay, can you combine with, it's ideal for, or you can give, for example, for instance, and then give further details, okay, about what you're reviewing. By the way, that doesn't mean that, on the other hand, one example of this, in this case. So there are many more phrases that you can use. Okay, and then when you go to paragraph three, you can write your recommendation and then you can even end your review here, okay? I highly recommend. Or you can say, for example, the movie. What movie? Uh, I can't remember, I think of a movie. For example, okay, Pirate of the Caribbean should not be missed, for example, okay? Okay, I wouldn't recommend. So this uh, Adam Gun, can we take uh, a short break for a minute, please? Ah, uh, I uh, can, can. Is it for can the a... yeah, can. Okay, maybe one minute break. Okay, can. Uh, okay, in case you all got any questions, students, you can ask any questions over here at the chat group. Okay, there's one to a uh, question from Daniel Ya. Teacher, okay. regarding the story, writing mm -hmm. is a phrasal verb. Mm -hmm. Example, put off, countered has one word or two words? Uh, two words. Put off. All, all, all phrasal words are counted as two words. Okay. Because they are Your not voice, compound. Are you clear? Uh, okay. So it's considered as two words, huh? Yes. I think we can continue. Okay. So, any uh, questions not, anymore? Any more questions? Any more questions, boys and uh, students, girls and boys? Any questions? You can write at the chat. I think okay. Okay. All right. So, Daniel so said thank you. Okay, I'll continue. So remember oh, yes. for the review, you have to end your record with recommendation. Or give okay, there's opinion. one more. Sorry, uh, Madam okay. Jan. There's one more from uh, one more student. Okay, he says over here, mm -hmm. uh, what about names like Chinese New Year's Eve? It is counted as one. Uh, no. All, all are considered as one words. But don't worry, if they ask you to write 120, you can write 150. It is still acceptable. Because for the second uh, part of the question, they give you a lot of blank spaces or blank pages. But don't write until maybe you know, 300. It is like too far off. Don't worry about the, the word count. It doesn't mean that 120, you have to stop at 120. But normally, those days in summary, uh, if in Form 4, Form 5, uh, proper nouns are counted as one. But you did not count all these words. You just like, you, know, you can estimate with your size of handwriting, 
whether it's supposed to be one page or you no know, uh three quarter of the page and so on. But I'll stick with one page. One page is quite quite a lot, right? Does my answer uh explain what the student is asking about? Is yes, it okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Actually, so, boys, uh, students, you no need to worry about 120 words. You can just yes. write about 130, 125. Automatically, you will set yourself question one and question two. There will be timing for you to do. Yes, you understand? Yes. And then your teachers in the class will train you how to write the essays. Okay? Okay, continue, madam. Okay, and then for the review, the last paragraph, you can write, I highly recommend or you should, uh, should not be missed. Okay, I wouldn't or I don't recommend. So this is negative. For example, it's the perfect place. It's the perfect cafe. It's the perfect restaurant. Or you can say the negative is the worst experience for me. Okay, example. So let's look at the example here. This is from your textbook. I think this is uh, from one or from two. So the title, you can write the Sherlock Holmes Museum. Okay, then you can write the introduction. Last weekend, my family and I visited the Sherlock Holmes Museum in London. It's small but interesting. It's got a shop for visitors too. So this is your introduction. Okay. Yeah, there is no need for you to write number one, number two or number three here. Okay. You just write, uh, write normal paragraphing. And then your contents. You can write. The music is like the home of Sherlock Holmes, the main character from the famous detective stories. You could look around the different rooms. You could see lots of his possessions too. You could also meet characters from the books, but they were really actors. So number two, or paragraph two will be the contents. Okay, remember you are given the questions. So the question, for example, asks you what. So you can describe what you uh, have eaten, for example, in a restaurant. Here, what have you seen in a place? Okay. Example, okay, there's a question here from uh, Lin Sok Ting. Okay. When can we use shortcuts like don't and can't in our essay writing? When oh, can we use this? Only, only in informal. You can't use for a review because review is formal. So normally you don't use the contractions. Informal letter, yes, you can use. And in the story also you can use, but not for formal writing. Because review is considered as formal. <laughs> Okay, and then the next one, you can write the conclusion where you recommend. So, for example, my favorite thing was the museum shop, which was very good value. There were also some more books to buy. The only problem was that the museum was very busy. Okay, so we waited half an hour to buy tickets. So, here, uh, favorite uh, place will be the museum shop. Okay, so there are a lot of good books to buy. So these are the uh, positive uh, opinions, okay? And then there's a negative one. The only problem was it was too busy, okay? You had to wait half an hour to buy ticket. Okay, next. So this is also taken from uh, your textbook. This is about a restaurant. So here you have introduction. Gino's, a good uh, introduction, the title. Gino's, a good choice. Hungry shoppers. So remember here, you need to have a title. Okay, I'll use my pen. I'll color for a while. So here you need to have the title. T I T L E. Okay. So remember here, the title must be there. Gino, a great choice for hungry shoppers. So just now we have the title also, the Sherlock Holmes uh, Museum. So is the title. Remember, review, you need to write a title. Okay? So here you have introduction. Introduction will be here. Example, okay, Madam Gan. Yes? There's a special advertisement for our students. Uh, okay, I'll stop before All I right. continue the second uh, yeah. example. Yes, and a special advertisement okay, for our okay. students. To okay? Okay. Semua sekolah ditutup hingga cuti akhir tahun 17 Disember 2020. Anda tak cukup bahan? Tak ada rujukan? Tak faham? Anda nak tuition tapi PKP? 
Jangan risau, kami di Akademi Youtuber dengan kerjasama Kelab Guru Malaysia dan EDD Malaysia mengadakan kelas tuition online. Semua peringkat ada, semuanya secara percuma. Video PDPC pun ada. Apa ditunggu lagi? Layari www.academyyoutuber.com Dibawakan kepada anda oleh Akademi Youtuber. Okay, welcome. Okay, okay. Soal okay. continue. Yes, you can continue. There's okay. one student, uh, question from one student from uh, Lin Sok Ting. She says, uh -huh. don't count as a word or two. The word don't. It don't is counted as a word. Uh, it, because um. uh, actually it depends if it's informal writing, don't is considered as one. For example, you're writing an informal letter, right? So you write don't. Because it is contraction is allowed, so it's considered as one word. But in review, you shouldn't write "don't." You should write "do not." Mm, then we'll come two words, isn't it? Ah uh, yes, it's counted as two words. Ah, uh. but because this is not a summary, they are not that uh, particular about the number of words. Yeah, uh, for example, if one two zero, yeah, one five zero is still acceptable, <laughs> but don't write until three hundred words. <laughs> Eh? Yeah, because so that's, I think you don't get worry so much of the uh, 120, no, 130 yes. words. You know, automatically you will start to write paper one and paper two, question one and question two. You have the timing you will get used, okay? Okay, okay oh. now I uh, continue with the second example. So the title, don't forget, Gino's a good choice for hungry shoppers. So the introduction will be, you can ask a question, are you bored with tasteless fast food? Next time you're hungry, why not pay a visit to the Italian restaurant Gino's example, okay? So this can be your introduction. Then you can have your content. So this is one paragraph of the content. I was shopping last weekend when I saw the colorful restaurant in the city center. So you can write about, maybe the question will ask you where. So where will be the location, okay? Okay, okay, there is uh, Madam Gan. Before you uh -huh. proceed, there's another question from Banner Ya. Uh -huh. uh, for review, uh -huh. yes. must I include both positive and negative review? Uh, it depends on the question. For example, they ask you, uh, what are your opinions? So you can write both positive or negative. It depends on the question that is given, the mind map. Remember the mind map that I showed you? With the six bubbles around it? So they'll be like, what, how, when... Not all this, so you better uh, refer to the bubbles. Okay? The, the bubbles. Yes. yes. So here you can write, for example, what. You can write about uh, where will be the city center, the place, what, maybe what you have eaten. For example, you can write the food that you have eaten. Okay? Then, okay, why. Why maybe why you like the restaurant, uh, why you like the place, or why you don't like. So it depends on the question. If it's not written, okay, students. why? You can write positive only, or you can write both positive and negative. It's up to you. They are not going to punish you because if the question is why, okay, or what is your opinion. So if they ask you what is your opinion, you can write both positive and negative. Or you can also Edward. stick to, uh, yes, only positive. Okay, so here, the conclusion will be, we know it's a small restaurant with, okay, so you can explain the place you can describe. So you can write the opinion, it's the perfect place for lunch for everyone. So here, this writer has written something positive. Okay. So remember, title, introduction, your content, and your conclusion. Remember conclusion, you can say whether you like it or you don't like the place or the movie and other things. For example, you went to a theme park. Okay, you can write about the theme park also. Okay, now we are going to move on to article. So for article, you have to think of a suitable title. Article is also formal. You have to have a title. And then use formal language and also use long form. Okay, then you have to write, for example, the, of your opinions or maybe if they give you an article about uh, endangered species or about uh, pollution, so you have to write the effects, the reasons, and so on, okay? So remember that each part of your article should be separated from the next week clear paragraphs. Okay, so let's look at the plan. 
So just now I mentioned the title, right? So paragraph one, you have to introduce the topic. You can add interesting fact to attract the readers. Example, the aim of this article is, or the purpose of this article is, or this is an article on, or you can ask a question. Do you know that? Okay. And then uh, next, paragraph two and three, you can discuss or elaborate the points. The first point, the second point, okay? And then you can also make suggestions. Uh, the important thing is to expand your ideas. But, but the ideas are not there, okay? The ideas come from you based on the WH questions. Okay, so there's a question, uh -huh. Madam Gan, uh -huh. from uh, Lin Suk Ting. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Okay, what is of gene? Oh, it's terong. <laughs> terong. <laughs> they call it eggplant, isn't it? Ah, uh, eggplant, okay. All right. So, uh, so it's uh, eggplant, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, can I continue? Because there's another yeah, one for, yes. for uh, okay. Uh, for a report, eh? so you can write ideas when you expand. You can use uh, remember the linkers and the connectors. Like the first, this is an interesting fact. There are many reasons. On the other hand, there there may be some disadvantages. Okay, so you can use all this depending on the questions you're gonna get. Okay, then the last. Oh, sorry, this is not a report. This is article. Sorry for the wrong typing. Okay, this is not report article. So end the article. You can summarize, you can express your opinion or your feelings or your wishes and your hope. So you can use in conclusion to sum up all in all. Okay. For example, you're talking about recycling. So you can say in conclusion, recycling uh, is important and so on. Okay. So you can express your opinion. Also your wish and hope. Okay. Let's look at this one. So this is the title. This is an article. Title, my country, and then you have introduction. Greece is a small country in southern Europe. It has a population of about 10 million. Many tourists visit Greece every year because of its warm climate, beautiful scenery, and friendly people. So this is your introduction. Okay, so don't write number one, number two, or number three. Okay, don't write this. So next, you can write the content. So Greece has long dry summer. So this is explaining about Greece. So you have content one, which is paragraph two. You have paragraph three. You have paragraph four. Okay, paragraph four can be your conclusion. Okay, so here you can even write your article. You can write your name. Yes, because the question can write. Uh, maybe the rubrics will write. Uh, write uh, an article for your uh, school magazine. So there's nothing wrong if you write your name there. Okay. So another one, I think you have seen this one before, all about me, okay? This is uh, a profile. So title, title will be your name, Claire Edwards. So this is introducing yourself. Okay, then you have, have introduction. Hi, my name is Claire Edwards and I'm 14 years old. So this is more of writing a blog, okay? So when it is not so uh, formal, you can use contractions. I'm 14 years old. I'm from Cardiff in Wales. I live with my mom and dad and my 12-year-old brother, Sam, who's a big computer fan. My best friends are Holly and Anita. So this is the introduction. And then you can write contents. For example, here is about music, right? Hobbies. And then you can also write about shopping. Okay. Uh, the question is, teacher, what about the conclusion? Okay, conclusion, you can write a simple conclusion. Here, there is no conclusion written because uh, the writer wrote about first hobby, music, second hobby about shopping, okay, and also the favorite color and so on. So this is, if you write like this, it's nothing wrong. The last paragraph is also considered as conclusion, okay? Okay, now the last one, report. Any questions so far about uh, article? So far, so good. No questions at the moment. I think our students understand everything. Okay. Are you, any questions, students? You can type at the chat box, please. Any questions so far? I think you can go ahead with the report. Okay. So writing a report, still there is a title. 
Okay, and then remember, use formal language and long forms. Long forms will be all your sentences. Maybe you should write complex or compound sentences. Okay, then remember to use headings, okay, to organize your report. And that allow yourself time to plan what you're going to include in your report. So plan properly your answers for the WH questions. Okay, and then normally report, they, sometimes they ask you the advantages and the disadvantages. Okay, and again, your paragraph must be there. Clear paragraphing. Okay. Report. First paragraph. Say why you're writing the report. For example, the aim or the purpose of this report is uh, to present, to recommend, to review, or to examine. Okay. Okay. Sorry. The word two is missing there. So it's two. Okay. Two is supposed to be to present, to recommend, to review. Okay, next. This report is on, so on what? So on is the top two. Okay, this report will present the findings of maybe a survey, okay? It will also, it will also make suggestions or recommendation for, okay? It will also suggest or recommend or discuss or analyze. So it here is about maybe a report or survey, okay? Next, paragraph two, discuss the first point or opinion and evaluate it and or make suggestions. So, you can write your opinions here. This is more on writing opinions, okay? Or the options given. Why? For example, the question asks you why or what. So, the first option is this may be a good choice because you can use all these uh, phrases. On the other hand, moreover, in addition, okay? Next, paragraph three, discuss the second point. If there are a lot of points that you can discuss or you can uh, continue with the other paragraph. Maybe if you have more, you can write paragraph four. Okay, example, an alternative possibility would be alternatively, however, in general, this option has several disadvantages. However, there may be some uh, reservations about or problems with. Okay, so these are some of the formal way of writing a report. Okay, next. Paragraph four, bring the report to an end. Okay, this is a conclusion. By summing up the suggestion made, recommend one of the options or refer to future actions. You can recommend one and or refer to future. Example, in conclusion, to sum up the main recommendation are, or to sum up the main suggestions are, you can write, it can, as can be seen from this report, or for these reasons, I feel that the best option is, so you can write your best option. Okay. Example. So here is one from your textbook. Okay, title, <coughs> Facilities at Torringdon High School. So this is from your textbook, okay? Facilities at Torringdon High School. Title. So remember, I mentioned just now you have to have uh, the title for each paragraph. Okay, be careful with report. You have to have, for example, introduction, the library, classroom, and conclusion. So you have to write this, okay? This is uh, maybe not so, you are not so familiar with this, okay? So just like I mentioned, there must be clear indication of the paragraph. So let's look at the introduction. This report presents the finding of a survey on the facilities at Torringdon High School. It also suggests some improvements to the facilities. Okay, so you have content, the library, and classroom. Most students think the library is, okay, big enough or not, not well equipped. As a result, it is not as useful as it should be. So you have to as a result, okay? A different location for the library could be, so maybe you want to change the location you're suggesting. Okay, the old time here or the common room. Or these are much bigger than the library. Students also suggested we have more computers put in so students can do research on the internet there. So because we did a survey, okay? So they maybe they want bigger library and they want more computers. Okay, then you move on to the next paragraph, classrooms. In general, most students believe the classroom are good. Okay, you have the word in general. They particularly like the interactive whiteboards. S. They make lesson more interesting. However, 
students complained about the temperature during winter. The students felt the classroom should have, okay, maybe central heating or air conditioning. Okay, so these are contents. And the conclusion, you write the title, conclusion. So you have the word to sum up. Okay, this is to conclude. The main recommendations are, so this is to repeat, sum up the recommendations. Move the library, uh, improve equipment in it, as well as, so you have the word as well as. And then you have the linkers like N. Okay, uh, move the library to that improve equipment, okay, and as well as to provide a better heating system. Okay, so this is the uh, report. So report may be something not familiar or it is something new. Uh, this is the format. Okay, remember, title, then you have to write introduction and then write your paragraph. And then you write the first item, example, library. So you write, what do you think of the library from the survey? Okay. Okay, this can be based on the bubble map given to you. Okay, then you have the second item, which is paragraph three, classrooms. Okay, then you end with the conclusion. So I repeat title, introduction, the library, classroom, and conclusion. Okay, any questions? So far, so good. No questions at the moment, except huh? Chegu Yuhaida says, good vibes. No question. Any questions about the report? Because I think report is so something. Far, no questions. Okay. So I think that's all. <laughs> Am I too early? I finished the presentation. Ah uh, no no no. Just nice. We got ex uh, actually eight minutes, but we can just ask the questions to our students. Uh, students, any questions for you? Maybe about letter writing review. Yes, any other Email. question? Yes, report. If you're not clear, you may have uh, right? the, the best suggestion would be to try uh, of uh, to try writing all these formats or the types. You can refer to maybe workbooks, oh, because uh, nowadays we uh, the uh, restriction of movement and so on, right? So maybe you can get some workbooks or reference book and refer to the types or the questions. Okay, so when you read the questions, try to attempt to write all this type of uh, writing, especially for part two. Because students are not used to the, bub uh, the bubble map, the mind map, the bubbles, uh, the WH questions, right? So they can try that. Any questions? Uh, do so far, nothing at the moment. Okay. Maybe I think they understood a lot of things. And uh, okay. uh, we got to some more five more minutes. Mm -mm. All right. And uh, maybe we can see them. Yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> we are done. Hello, students. Okay, we are done with today's session. And we learned a lot for Madam Gun. Okay. About P23 format for writing paper two. Congratulations to those who are able to follow our session from the beginning till the end. And thank you very much, Madam Gan Bin Hun, for such an interesting and informative lesson. And not forgetting Juan Aisha to be with us in this interesting lesson too. Before I provide the certificate link, I want to remind all of you to fill it using eDD account. And the link will only be active in 30 minutes. Please do click and fill in the form with correct spelling. The link certificate is already in the chat session. The passcode of today's session is hash class IUEDD. To those who haven't joined EDD Junior Telegram, please do so. If you want to get more information, please go to www.academyyoutuber.com. Okay, you can fill your cert now if you want. And then uh, we are recommended to come to join the uh, no have an account. Yes, the EDD. Yeah, EDD account. Only with DD account, okay. you can get a cert, right? 
Yes, so, you must join EDD yes. Junior Telegram. Yes. Yes, when you join EDD Junior Telegram, automatically you will get an email. Okay, then you will be you will be able to get your certificate. And this certificate, students, you can use it for your co-curriculum marks. You understand? So take advantage of this because this will help you to increase your marks. Understand? Okay, and you can uh, try to attend all our classes. We have from five, from four, and even from one, from two, from three classes. Okay, it's good. All right. Okay. And uh, if you feel like you want to subscribe our channel, you can even subscribe to our yes. channel and even Puan Manji's channel. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, anything to share, Puan Aisha? I think there is a question here, right, by Janice about the workbook. Yes, you yes, yes. Ah, yes. Uh, all the workbooks are old for bed. So I'm uh, so confused. Do you have any recommendation for good workbooks? Uh, we can't really mention the brands or so on. But I think the latest one would be quite suitable. Because last year, there's no PT3 exam, right? So yes. try the latest books. Try to get the latest. And, and students, you don't get worried. When you go to school in April, your yes, teachers yes. will be training you. They will guide all of you. You understand? So just wait patiently. Meanwhile, you attend your classes all the time. Don't mm. forget your textbook is very, very useful. That's yes. a lot you can get from Always the textbook. Refer. Yes. Always refer yes. to the textbook for the format, yes. for the types, for the example of sentence structures and the paragraphing. You can get a lot of good phrases from the textbook. Okay. So any once questions? again, any questions anymore? There are so many textbooks I work book now in the market already. Yeah. Mm, yeah. You can find a lot from the bookshop. You understand? All right. Okay. So any more questions, anyone? About lecture, yes. about report and everything? There are no questions at all. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank, you. Right. Thank, thank you. Thank you for really, attending. Really, really. Okay. And okay. Uh, I can't channel. open the link. Oh, yeah, yeah. CT says she can't open the link. The link can't be opened. Mm. Is it the link to the third? Yeah. Link to the third CT? Okay. There, the link is given here. Use it. Okay. Open the link now. Yeah, maybe because it's the, the 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 hyperlink is not there. So maybe you need to copy. Let me try. Try again. Uh, the hyperlink. I copy link address again. Oh, you maybe you can screen capture the HTTP links EDM MYRU one. You can screen capture and later on, yes, it's there. Eh? Maybe later on you can type it out. <laughs> okay, Janice Chu asking, teacher, when is uh -huh. the 23 exam? <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> we have to wait for the, the Ministry of Education and the exam syndicate or Lembaga Perpisaan to, to announce. Okay. I don't think they will delay until next year, right? Because it will clash with SPM and so on. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it should be this yeah, year. Yeah, she still says, City say, it says you need a permission. I think, you know, why need a permission? Maybe she don't have the EDD yeah. account. EDD account, yeah. Yes, yeah, so that is uh, why you need to launch an EDD account first. Yes, yeah, City, you need to have an account with EDD first. That's why I think you cannot open. Yeah, that's why you need the permission. Okay. Yeah. I think we have one more minute left. Yeah, no, uh -huh. we wait and see. Then I will do the conclusion. Okay. Okay, Jenny says she noted it. That, yeah, that's why I told you to become a member of EDD Junior. Yeah. Understand? And, <laughs> and then you can okay. uh, pay form and get the cert, yes. And you can use the cert to get your cocoa marks too. All right? Okay. To those who haven't joined EDD Junior Telegram, please do so. And if you want to get more information, please go to www.academyyoutuber.com. 
So once again, I would like to thank you, Madam Gan Bin Hoon, and also Puan Welcome. Aisha for the interesting lesson. Boys and girls, please support Educator Omni Cube Channel by clicking the subscribe button now. Please do it now. Come on, everyone. And also for Puan Aisha and Cikgu Manjit. <laughs> All right, you must see. Okay. All right, clear everybody? Okay, good. I think that's all for now. We have another class later on. See you in another session. Bye, everyone. Take bye care. Bye. Have a nice bye. Day. bye bye. See you. Dibawakan kepada anda oleh Academy YouTuber.